Hello, hello, welcome to the video. Roughly a year ago now, I posted the third video in the Aussie Animals series of videos, with that one being dedicated to the wedge-tailed eagle, Australia's largest bird of prey. This video, as you may have guessed from the title, is a heavily expanded second edition of the first video I did on any dinosaur, living or extinct. So on with the video. As I just said, wedgies are the largest eagles in Australia, and are also one of the largest in the world. Females of the Tasmanian subspecies, more on that later, getting slightly larger than males by about 15% according to environment.gov.au. Females range from weights of 3.2 to 5.5 kilograms, whilst males are lucky to pass 4 kilograms at their largest. These birds also have a massive wingspan of about 1.9 to 2.3 meters and possess a length of 100 to 120 centimeters. One female shot and killed in 1931 in Tasmania reportedly weighed 5.8 kilograms and had a wingspan of 284 centimeters and a height of 103 centimeters, with another shot a few months later having a wingspan of 279. There's also been claims of a 340 centimeter wingspan on one individual, though according to raptorrefugee.com, that and another 312 centimeter individual are considered dubious. Despite this, according to the same website, the 284cm individual reportedly gives the wedgie the largest wingspan ever recorded from any eagle. However, it should be noted that several eagle species do outweigh it, with notable examples being the Philippine eagle, Stella sea eagle, and the harpy eagle. Wedgetail eagle infants have a white coat of down, which becomes more like feathers towards the head. As they age, they gain dark reddish-brown colorations on their feathers, reaching sexual maturity around the the age of three years old, with females being slightly paler than their male counterparts. As they grow older, they'll eventually become dark brown or almost entirely black in colour. Besides coloration, wedge-tailed eagles have long wings and a wedge-shaped tail that gives them their common name. They have the hooked beak of other eagles from around the world, alongside very strong legs and feet which allow them to lift up to 5 kilograms under the right conditions, though only carry a maximum of roughly 3.8 kilograms back to their nests, according to 2015 study. Wedge-tailed eagles hunt practically anything in the ecosystem and have adapted numerous abilities to do so. According to a PDF file from wildlife.vic.gov.au and the Alice Springs Desert Parks website, the wedgie has binocular vision and can see in many more colours than we can, just like other eagles. They have also developed the ability to squeeze their eyeballs to act like they have a camera's lens and can see roughly eight times more detail than we can. Wedgies also have large talons on their feet, with the Tasmanian subspecies having slightly longer talons than the mainland subspecies. These talons are used to grab and claw prey. According to a chat I had with someone who got to handle a wedge-tailed eagle, the claws are actually the main weapons used in the killing process, and the beak doesn't have a very strong bite force. When it comes to diet, depending on the population you're looking at, a fair chunk of that diet can be invasive rabbit species, helping the ecosystem by controlling the pest animal. The Australian Museum's page on the wedge-tailed eagle states that the percentage of their diet can range from 30 to 70% European rabbits, with some going as high as 92%, showing that even at the lower percentages, they are still a staple of the bird's diet. Other animals they eat include various animals and lizard species, whether that be rodents or large lizards. The largest prey they hunt, however, is much larger than some of Australia's largest lizards, in the form of kangaroos. The largest kangaroo species known alive today is the red kangaroo, or the big red, with males weighing up to 90 kilograms in some cases. One 2015 study mentioned earlier earlier when briefly talking about carrying capacity, went over four documented observations of wedge-tailed eagles hunting eastern grey kangaroos around parts of Canberra. All of the hunts were of two eagles attacking one kangaroo, including a decently sizable male at 1.7 metres tall, and another one of a female which had a baby, known as a joey, in her pouch. Fortunately, the female survived her encounter with the eagles, but at the cost of having to jettison her infant from the pouch, which one of the eagles immediately went for while the other continued to go after the mother until it realised she had ejected the joey. Wedgetails are known to happily clean up Australia's roads via eating whatever animals get killed by cars. This can be kangaroos, wombats, koalas, dingoes, literally just whatever gets hit. Sadly for wedgies however, they themselves aren't safe from Australia's deadliest inhabitant. Idiot drivers who can't 
can't see stuff in front of them unless it stoves in their windshield at 110 kilometers an hour. Wedgies can be found pretty much all over Australia apart from some more rainforest type areas. They are also found in southern parts of Papua New Guinea and in the island state of Tasmania, which has its own subspecies, characterized by shorter feathers on the nape of the neck and slightly longer talons. When it comes to mating, their mating rituals consist of various aerial maneuvers, such as the male diving down towards the female. Once they establish themselves as a couple, they'll start building a nest, typically in a tree, though will build on the edge of a mountain face or on the ground or sides of a cliff if needed. These nests can get massive by the way, with some getting to 1.8 to 2.5 meters long, 2 to 3 meters deep, and upwards of 400 kilograms in weight, making them so large a grown man could easily lay down in some of them. If a stick falls from the nest, it isn't retrieved. Some piles of sticks below nests have been recorded as high as 1.8 meters tall. They may build several nests over their lives, but will only use one for multiple years of raising young. Breeding season is June to August in southern parts of Australia, whilst it's April to September in the northern parts. Wedge tails typically lay one to three eggs, though sometimes they may lay four, but the average is typically two for mainland wedgies and only one for the Tasmanian species. Most wedgies only manage to raise one to maturity, being fairly lucky to get two successfully raised to adulthood. The reason behind this is due to varying factors, such as that if the eggs are laid a couple days apart, the first hatchling will always be larger and might destroy the other eggs while they still haven't hatched. Alongside that, the larger infant might unintentionally kill their sibling via getting more food or might just show aggressiveness towards the smaller infant. Wedgies are also known to defend their breeding territory from other eagles and animals. One website I came across claims they don't defend the young if anything intrudes on the nest, leaving the young to fend for themselves, but I don't know how accurate that is. Beyond their breeding territory, they have what is known as their home range, which fluctuates in size depending on availability of food at any given time. They don't defend this territory, but will make sure to let their presence be known via flying around to advertise themselves, sometimes up to more than 90 minutes. Wedge-tailed eagles, when adults, are known to be fairly territorial about their airspace. Besides shooing away any other wedge-tails that come into their territory, they are also known to actively attack attack drones, helicopters, model planes, fixed wing aircraft, remote control planes, paragliders, hang gliders, and pretty much anything that is man-made. Which I find funny, since their scientific name means bold eagle, which they got for being known for hunting kangaroos. If you want to see some cases of them attacking stuff, videos will be linked down below of them doing so. In the 1900s and up until the 1960s, wedge-tailed eagles were hunted across Australia due to the alleged threat they posed to livestock, namely sheep, with some 162,430 being shot and killed between 1951 and 1966 in Queensland, and 147,237 in Western Australia between 1928 and 1968, most of these kills being from farmers and hunters shooting them, alongside second-hand pesticides from scavenging carcasses of animals killed by poisoned baits. Farmers and other livestock owners claimed they'd steal sheep, carrying off lambs, or just killing them and eating them where they are. However, this wasn't the case at all. It was found that the sheep only make up a very small percentage of their diet, and that the sheep they were seen eating were dead already, meaning it was just scavenging like what modern wedgetails do when they find a dead animal on the side of the road. Until a funny looking metal box comes charging at them, that is. Luckily, wedge-tailed eagles are now considered protected, with the mainland subspecies being listed as least concern, though sadly the Tasmanian eagle isn't in the same boat, being listed as endangered. Roughly 1,000 to 1,500 remain, depending on what you read, with less than half being mature, and not all of those are of breeding age. Despite being protected, like I remember one person saying to me, Tasmanians are still going to shoot them anyway, and from what I've read, they are still considered vermin by some and are facing extinction. I recall reading one thing, which I think might have been from Wikipedia, stating that at one point in time, the same company responsible for the death of the legendary Tasmanian Tiger tried to go for the Tasmanian Eagle as well. Their reason why was they claimed that they aren't native to the region and that they aren't separate to the mainland subspecies, though as pointed out by whoever wrote that part of the page, there are differences and they've been isolated from the mainland population for 8,000 to 10,000 years, if not more. The mainland 
subspecies is also facing its own threat in the form of deforestation, clearing any nesting opportunities for them, but at least they aren't in the same position of their Tasmanian relatives. Wedgetails already get enough negativity thrown their way by other birds, such as magpies and crows, ganging up on them to chase them out of their territory, so we don't need to join in on it. Wedgetails, as the largest bird of prey in Australia, have become something of a symbol of patriotism in parts of Australian culture. The West Coast Eagles footy team has a stylized one as their logo, and even has one as their mascot, named Ozzy. Some Aboriginal tribes in Australia feature wedgetails in their stories, and it's featured on the coat of arms of the Northern Territory. The 2nd Cavalry Regiment of the Australian military has also had a couple Wedgetails as mascots, named Courage and Courage 2. The Wedgetailed Eagle is also featured on their badge, holding a lance and a banner with the word Courage on it. I don't know about you, but I think they like that word as much as Elon Musk loves the letter X. Some of you might also be familiar with a post on Facebook, someone made as a joke, where they compared the wedge-tailed eagle to the American bald eagle. They stared in the meme that the baldy is one of the smallest eagles out there, only eats fish, and is basically a glorified seagull. Meanwhile, the wedgie is one of the largest eagles in the world, hunts kangaroos, can see in UV and infrared, and is the only eagle known to attack paragliders and parachuters. This actually got so much attention that I remember reading through an article addressing this meme's claims. To boil it down, wedgies are actually larger, getting to around 6.3 to 7 kilograms depending on what you read, while the largest wedgetail eagle on record was 5.8 kilograms, though the average for females maxes out at around 5.3 kilograms. Both birds can also see in infrared and UV, so the wedgie isn't special in that regard. Baldies are also known to scavenge from dead animals and steal kills from other birds, much like the wedgetail. One thing I've seen flaunted around all too often with this comparison is that wedgetails hunt kangaroos, therefore they'll win. However, they too mainly scavenge carcasses and also go for more easy prey, such as small lizards and invasive European rabbit species. Kangaroo hunts aren't as common as they are made out to be, and and when they do happen, there will be two or more eagles attacking the marsupial. It should also be remembered that kangaroos can't really defend themselves from airborne threats that fly out of reach as fast as they attack, especially when they are trying to hop away from their threat as fast as possible. Anyway, that's about it in terms of information you need to know about wedge-tailed eagles. I recommend checking the sources in the description below if you want to learn more about them. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time I upload. <laughs> Pardon?